He must have eaten about a block of cheese already. So what did you get from uh, the woman on the side of the road? Well, I'll show you now before Dolly gets to it. Big old lump of cheese. Oh, look at that. Black cheese. That is massive. And that's a mixture of cow and goat milk. And that was 17 lei, which is about three pound, mm -hmm. three pound or something like that. And then I said, keep the 20, but I'll have a little bit of meat. Mm. And then she gave me that great big chunk of meat. This here. Yeah, oh, that was great, isn't it? Yeah, so I've got a big bit of meat as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, so well uh, worth it. And plus it goes to the local economy. So your grand total for shopping at the side of the road was uh, actually three pound 58. Bargain. This is slightly bent. Yep. The but it was like that before, wasn't it? It was like that before. Uh, the previous ah. fix has been yeah. screws. Yeah. Not by us. So I've had to take everything off to get to it. And you can see two screws there have fallen out. The restraints are here, the, the main clamps. Yep. But the weight, the pull off of this back box is here. Right, so this is actually an issue from when the van it was had the this fitted. It's a poor installation. Because yeah. I mean, this may well have been fitted. It bolts there, but the weight is there. Yeah. Yeah, and they haven't done it at that side because that side is the bathroom, isn't it? The, the shower room. On the other side, yeah. Yeah, and you can't get to it because exactly. it's all panelled. So, so this is an issue, not with, obviously a previous owner's tried to do a little bit of a fix, but, um, or maybe even, I don't know, a dealership. But uh, this is an issue when this was actually fitted. Um, yeah. When the van was new, I suppose. It's straight. Is it? Yeah, it's absolutely straight. But because... It's not, it's bent. That whole thing's curved. Is it? Oh, I can see that. it's curved. But... Yeah. That's where it, it's bolted to the van. That's where it takes the weight. Yep. So it pulls backwards there. And it pulls backwards here. Right. So and that's just not attached. That's not attached. So what, what the previous has done is put two screws in. Yeah. And they fell out. Well, yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Because the thing is, there is slight movement in these things yeah. and it would just wear its way out. It's just a bad design, unfortunately. Better. So, there's the side of the van which is straight. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, look. Yeah. So that's way better because before we had it like that, oh, it's just the same really. So after lots of bashing, crashing, cutting old Sikaflex out, a bit think of swearing we're getting... here and there. It was swearing. Not um, I think we're uh, just about there, aren't we? Always carry oil. Yeah. So we're down to always carry a bottle jack, always carry <laughs> oil, always carry toolkits. I think this is all very sound advice. Be prepared. Right, put the four box down somewhere now. You better find them then. Come on in, I don't know where you put things. Wow. When we arrived, we saw two beautiful strays who were hanging around in the distance. They got closer over the day and by the morning, we were best buddies with a food bribe. They were certainly brother and sister, both with perfect teeth and I suspect well fed by the visitors to this lovely spot. They then slept at the side of the van, joining us for an evening meal and of course breakfast before we left. They did keep a distance between Dolly and Pip, which is a good thing as stray dogs can carry ticks and fleas. We do have collars on our two princesses, but distance is best. The two strays would definitely have come with us by the end of our stay, but unfortunately we had no room. It's certainly an adoption process we will undertake in the future when the time is right. The guy's just come out and had a fag by the pumps. Um, 
Yeah, we have, we've got some cash that we need to get rid of before we enter Bulgaria because we don't know if we're coming back this way. Um, so we thought, right, we'll get some diesel and then we'll um, get a little bit of shopping because we had 250 lei, which is about £44. So we stopped here. Diesel was £1.19 a litre. So I managed to get 20, nearly 23 litres in. I forced it in. So anyway, that is the best price of diesel we've had since we've been out. Oh, so okay. very happy with that. up in there look panoramic rock church in the rock so I'm guessing that building there that you can just see built into the rock is the church Good morning, and we've just had a lovely walk through the Brzezinski Lom Nature Park. Oh, there we are. Also known as the place with the uh, rock church. Yes, which is uh, just to the other side of us here. And that is quite high, isn't it? Yeah, pretty impressive. Anyway, another free park up, and this is a beautiful one. Uh, there are toilets here by the souvenir shop. Uh, there's lots of people walking, uh, there's bins, so we had a really good night didn't we? It was we very did. peaceful, very lots peaceful. of nature, <laughs> there's a lot of wild animals and wild birds around here, in fact if you like looking for birds uh, this is a brilliant spot so we definitely recommend this. Yeah lots of nature, wildlife and flowers and the good thing with the park up is it's fairly flat and in addition there's people coming and going all the time so it's also safe. Yes. You can go off and walk in your van. There's a lady in the souvenir shop. Yeah, she's very friendly. Yeah, speaks very good English. And uh, I think we're going to be buying a little. I think we'll be uh, off to spend a couple of our pennies on a little memento from uh, this stop off. It's been a lovely one. We've really enjoyed it. Um, highly recommend it. We're getting the same vibes from Bul Bulgaria that we, we got from Romania. We definitely like it very much. Um, friendly people as well. Very good. And they speak in... Bulgaria, there's more English speaking people than there was in Romania. Romania. Yes, I'll put the what three words for this park up, and uh, yep. it's, it's certainly a fantastic park up. Nice big parking space by there, and yep. uh, plenty of room and very peaceful. So, uh, peaceful apart from when you can hear the jackals and wildlife at night, which is nice. Yes, and it goes absolutely pitch black there's no lighting down here no, whatsoever it's very very dark so uh right we're gonna uh have a cup i think and head on to the next destination head on to the next which we know where we're going it's about 180 something kilometers yeah just over 100 miles yeah south of here and uh I, it's gonna be a good one with something we've looked at and thought oh god yeah we'd love to go there i'd love to yeah. see that so um we'll share that with you later we'll catch you there bye bye what? Now, we weren't aware there was a big issue with dogs in Bulgaria being homeless, but paulie has been telling us all about them, and uh, there's an awful lot. I mean, how many are in your shelter at the moment? 
100 uh, 800 dogs in the shelter. 800. Yes. That's shocking. And more maybe. Yes. Every day. Yeah. Yesterday uh, uh, there are people which uh, gave us um, t 10 dogs. Mm -hmm. 10 dogs for Ten two dogs. minutes. Yes. And oh, there's, no. there's, all, there's also hundreds. Every day. Yes, yeah. difficult. I need help, really. Yeah. Will, not yeah. money. Not just to, what? to find a home. Yeah. Polly just needs homes. Um, do, you, do you rehome many in Bulgaria? Yes. Right. Yeah. But obviously, with 800, you've got so many. Yeah. You really need to rehome outside yeah. of Bulgaria as yes. well. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, what we've decided to do, because we've really fallen for this street dog plight, uh, we want to help. So, if any of you can help us, please get in touch. We have Polly's details and let's see if we can get some dogs rehomed because that would be fantastic Absolutely. if we could do this somehow because these dogs are beautiful we've fallen in love with so many of them i i, I could have a van full i really could and i know so many of you commented as well saying how wonderful it is but uh, if we could help polly here okay and the dogs yes that would be wonderful yeah. you can get i'll in be touch. very happy yeah. really you can get in touch with us and we can then pass details on to polly yeah but keep an eye because we're going to follow up with this. We're keeping in touch with Polly and uh, we're going to do something to help. We've decided we're on our budget tour, but let's help the doggies as well. Yes. There we go. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. You are Thank welcome. You. You're very well. Parker you've ever had. Some of the letters have been stolen, but uh, it's still quite an amazing sight.